Welcome to BHC Today, Tuesday edition. I'd like to go back a couple of years in church history, if you'll bear with me today. About uh, three years ago, our church organization was a rather older, bureaucratic uh, style of uh, management. We had uh, a rather large board of directors that um, oversaw the work of the church. And uh, every year we actually had to put together a search team to be able to go out and find people willing to volunteer to lead each of our 14 different committees. Uh, about that time, we put together a long-range planning committee with the role to be able to review our current organization as well as to look into more modern organizations, organizations that are more dynamic and uh, that have been proven successful in growing their church. And so this team worked diligently for about six months and through their hard work and study, I uh, alluded to basically a seminary course on church organization, they came up with a recommendation of a model that uh, we have been moving towards called the accountable leadership model. This model has proven successful for hundreds of churches across the country. And uh, we decided to set aside our current bylaws and for two years establish a transitional leadership team and operate under this new accountable leadership model. The basics of the model are that uh, the church is uh, led by a leadership team appointed by the congregation and uh, includes our lead pastor. The role of the leadership team is to oversee the pastor, support the pastor in the accomplishment of our goals and objectives. The lead pastor's role is to manage the day-to-day -day operation and achieve the goals and objectives assigned for the church. And lastly, the role of the congregation, instead of large groups of the congregation managing the church, is to get involved in the church's ministries and be active participants in the ministry doing the work of the church. And so the past two years we've been operating under this model. And I will tell you that uh, from our standpoint of leadership team, from the lead pastor, as well as our pastoral team, it's worked out very positively. And so it's time for us then to make a recommendation to the congregation that we adopt this model permanently and that it become our leadership model going forward. So this includes a change to our bylaws, which most of you uh, should have received a copy of or been notified of. And in addition to that, we have uh, put these, a copy of these bylaws and other key documents that we've been developing over the past two years to manage the church. We put these in the uh, church office, so just see Philomena, or in the church library, and you can uh, peruse these yourself. So we'd ask you to do so if you're interested and uh, to provide your leadership team, including our lead pastor with comments about uh, these changes. Because come November at our annual congregational membership meeting, we're going to vote on approving these bylaw changes. So the key element of uh, all that we've done is refocusing our church on the basics and that's the basics of the Bible and you notice our mission statement which I'm so proud that uh, the pastors continue to emphasize to everyone following Jesus loving our God loving his church and loving his world 
and we've reorganized our ministries to focus in those key areas. And we want you as a membership to be involved in the ministries of the church, doing the work of the church, accomplishing that. I'm very pleased that over the last three years, in spite of the challenges of COVID, in spite of uh, the retirement of our pastor, Tim Anderson, and seeking and gaining a new pastor and Pastor Rob, uh, in, in celebrating our 50th anniversary, developing a Vision 50, which focuses on some of the real estate changes across the campus, preparing us for the future, we have continued to grow as a church. In fact, we've almost doubled in our size since COVID began. We never have been afraid of COVID. Our faith is in our God. But we have taken steps to ensure that we operate safely. We added two Sunday services to be able to accommodate social distancing. Early on in the process, we uh, recommended masking and hand washing and sanitizing. And we even added a filtration system to our worship center. Um, so we've taken the steps we feel necessary to comply with CDC. And we've come out on the other side very successfully. And we pray and hope that we'll continue to do this. And with your help, we'll be a beacon of ministry, not only to our local community in Sun City, but around the Phoenix area, throughout the Southwest, and of course, throughout the world. Thank you so much for all that you do. Thanks to our pastoral team and our team of volunteers for all that they accomplish. And we look forward to seeing you in church on Sunday or Saturday night. God bless you and God bless the work of this church. Amen.